Hello again and welcome. A little while ago a company called LaserPecker got in touch with me and asked me whether I'd be interested in reviewing their LaserPecker 2. Well I jumped at the chance. My brain was in overdrive thinking of all the applications I could use it for. I was a little bit worried about how I would get on with the technology etc but it is extremely easy I assure you even for a technophobe like myself. So without further ado let's get up close and personal with the Laser Pekka 2. Assembling and getting started with the Laser Pekka 2 is simplicity itself. Included in the box are obviously the manual, you get the laser unit, you get a power cord cable, electric stand, the laser shield, two USB cables, a pair of goggles which are very important, a ruler, a wrench and also two screws which I've used to attach the electric column to the stand. All you do underneath you can see you have the two screws there, there is a location indent on the flat stand, you place the column on that and with the allen wrench you screw up those two screws so the column is now attached. To attach the laser unit there is a thumb screw and you locate that into a square recess and tighten the thumb screw. That's your laser unit attached. You slide the laser protector into three location holes underneath. That's that attached. Attach your power cord and then attach one of the USB cables to the stand and the other one to the extractor fan on the laser guard. And that is the assembly, as simple as that. The next thing to do is to scan the app which is on the reverse of the front cover of the manual and that will download the app onto either your smartphone or your tablet. You've downloaded the software and the app and this is the home screen and this is on my tablet. It will also work on a smartphone. Now the next thing you need to do is to connect the laser packer to your device. So you switch the machine on and you will see a blue light here and that is flashing because they connect via Bluetooth. You want to make sure that your Bluetooth is on on your device as well. And then in the top right left hand corner here you have a, a note saying click here to connect. So if you click there it will now search. It's found the laser packer. I click again and it will connect. A double beep tells you that they are now connected. Now in the app you have access to your device's uh, picture al photo album, the camera, you can create your own text and indeed a clip art library. And we'll go to the first one on there and let's just pick the B. So we've picked the B and then if it, you can edit that if you wish, you can alter how it appears on your piece. You have pencil mode, you have G code and also bin. There are a couple of others here. You can have grayscale if you wish, uh, if you want it to appear like, like so. So, but we're going to go for bin on this particular one. There's a tick here. If you press that tick, that means you accept that. So it's saved successfully. So if you click next, it then gives you an option to start a preview. If you press the preview button, what that does is give you a, an indication of the position of the laser to your work. So you can square it up and get it just as you want it. You have also various uh, 1K, 1.3 and 2K resolution options as well. 
Then you need to put in your dimensions and in this one we'll just put uh, 50 mil just for sake of argument and it automatically fills in the height. Now click next. You have to put in your password. So I'll just put in my password here. Okay, done. Now it's importing that file. Now the file is there and there's the information of the type of wood, uh, the type of material, which is wood. The power in this case is 100%, depth of 10%, one pass. And at that stage you would press start and it would start to engrave. So it's as simple as that to get started and you can fiddle around with the settings to get the best result for your particular job. So let's get engraving some pieces. Before you start engraving, you need to ensure that the laser is 110 millimeters from the surface of the material you're engraving. There are three ways of doing that. Number one, with the laser shield attached, you can use the electronic column here to raise or lower the unit. One single press means it will carry on, in this case, going up, press to stop and each short press is one millimeter increments. With this attached if you have it just touching the surface of the work and keep going down There you go, it's just above the work there, that is the optimum distance. If you have the laser shield detached, let's just slide him off. The supplied ruler will do the same job, you'd lower it to 110 mil. And also just on the inside here, there's a little leg, and that leg drops down if you haven't got the laser shield attached, and you can just lower the unit until it touches the piece. Then you can put the little leg away, and you're at the right distance from your work. There we go, that's all finished, glass is off, and that took 1.03 minutes. I know it's only a small piece, but you can see the quality there, very crisp, and a really nice figure. And it is... Really crisp, virtually no overburn, excellent. Now I'm just going to try show you a little bit of leather and it wasn't completely flat actually but you can see there really nice detail. Another neat feature is that you can actually tilt the laser housing. There's a knurled knob behind here and you can rotate it up to 90 degrees. There's the logo. So, in that respect, it's very versatile. Also, in the package comes the electric roller. And like with everything with the laser PECA 2, it is simplicity itself to connect and get working to engrave cylindrical objects. All you do is slide the roller over the base, like so, Connect the USB cable to get power. The blue light is on, we now have power. And now we are able to engrave cylindrical objects. In the app, you just have to 
go into settings and enable the third axis which is the roller and the same as with any other engraving you dial in all, dial in all your settings and your sizes and away you go. So let's do a couple of cylindrical engravings. Let's have a look. And one perfect little bee. Now we're going to try something where the engraving goes right around the cylinder. Now there's a very simple formula for that. You get the diameter of your piece and multiply it by pi, which is 3.14. There we go, that's done. Just raise him up. Now it obviously depends how accurate your measurements are, but you can see there that we've got it joining nicely in the middle, at the end I should say, right around the cylinder. and really crisp engraving. Okay, so now we're going to use trolley mode. And obviously it could have been a lot longer, but um, I just wanted to show you how it works on the trolley mode. And obviously you can have a much longer piece, should you so wish. And the final demonstration is going to be in what I call standalone mode. You detach the module from the stand just by means of undoing this thumb screw. And you can actually take the laser engraver to the work if you can't get the work to the laser engraver. So just to demonstrate that I'll clear this little area here and we'll do a quick standalone engraving. Well that wraps up my review of the laser Pekka 2. Very simple to assemble, even I could do it and you know my history with masking tape. Two screws, two thumb screws, scan the barcode from the manual into your smartphone or your tablet 
Once that's downloaded, connect via Bluetooth. Connection is very stable and very quick. I'm very impressed with that because in my experience, Bluetooth can be a little bit finicky, but solid as a rock in this one. Select an image from the clip art gallery or import your own image and you're away engraving. I would honestly say within 15-20 minutes of opening the box, when I first got it, I was engraving. The settings are completely flexible. You can alter the settings to get the result that you're looking for. I've only scratched the surface with the few demos I've done with what it's capable of. It is capable of a lot more on a lot of different materials. Uh, but obviously to keep the video as short as possible, I haven't gone through all the options, but I think it gives you a taster of what it's capable of doing. A couple of points which I think are important to mention, always, and I mean always, wear the safety goggles when the machine is operating and find a solution for extracting the fumes because it, after all said and done, we are burning the material that we're using, that we're working on. Um, I'm lucky, mine's situated near the entrance of the workshop so I just have a fan behind the machine when it's operating and it blows those fumes straight out of the door. But I'm sure you're more than capable of finding a solution for your own workshop and environment. A huge thank you to LaserPecker for sending me the machine to review. I really enjoyed using it and playing around with it. I had a lot of fun there. And any questions you may have, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as possible. All the relevant links will be in the description below. So all remains for me to say is thank you very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.